action with the most news in South Texas. From KRIS Studios, this is the News at Noon. Hi everybody, thanks for being with us on this Friday. I'm Dave Fralick here with meteorologist Matt Trevune. Pretty muggy, warm end of the work week, right? <laughs> That's right. We want some rain and we don't have any rain around here. That's some good Plenty news clouds, and bad news. Though. Yeah, we got tons of clouds. It's 86 degrees now in Corpus Christi, already 91 in Kingsville and 93 in Falfurious. You can you can see just by looking at those numbers who has seen sunshine. 91 of sunshine in Kingsville and Falfurious has seen some sunshine. We got a breezy wind out of the south with gusts of 30 miles per hour. We'll look at the future tracker in just a few minutes. Okay. Matt, thanks. We begin with a story only on 6 News. In the middle of a multi-million dollar budget deficit, the city of Corpus Christi bought a $10,000, almost $10,000 timer with your taxpayer money. And we first told you about the seemingly wasteful spending Wednesday night. Let's get you up to speed. A few weeks back, the buzzer on the timer that's used during public comment at city council meetings stopped working. So the city's facilities manager ordered a new timer for $10,000. Yesterday, we spoke with the person who approved the purchase. Here's what Gina Sanchez had to say. Is this wasteful spending? No. This is very good because this has got a 20-year life on it. But couldn't a timer just do the same thing? No, because of what the nature of what um, their needs are. I mean, there's no law are. that says you have to have a $10,000 well, system. And, you know, that's true. They could put an egg timer, but it's a kitchen egg timer that sits there. Right. You could do that. You know, but that's not what council, council likes a professional environment, and that's what we do. Now, yesterday we spoke with city leaders who say our story is causing more review of spending practices at City Hall. Keaton Fox went to City Hall for answers as 6 News investigates. Today, City Hall was all a buzz or maybe all beeping over this. It's a timing system in City Hall chambers with a nearly $10,000 price tag. All right, this is how this system works. This is where the city secretary sits right here. He's got a panel over on this wall where he can put one, three, five, ten minutes. It's three minutes for public comment. So the speaker over here knows exactly how much time they have on the clock. So does the council. There's a clock right here on the front. There's a clock right here on the back. So when that three minutes is over, everyone in the audience, including the speaker, will know exactly how much time is left, and they'll know exactly when their time is up. Although I got to tell you, if, if I had been involved on the front end, I'd have probably said, let's hold off on that one. Let's get a temporary timer of some kind and, and uh, put the money to better use in other places. Olson suggested using an hourglass to keep time. The point, maybe now, wasn't the right time for this system. Assistant City Manager Oscar Martinez agrees and says our story has the city paying closer attention to where city money is going especially since the city is now looking at an $11 million budget hold this year. We're going to have a lot of dialogue on going forward to make sure that we have a system that is as efficient as possible at, for an organization and for the public. Martinez says now they're reviewing their process to find out how an item like this didn't get more review or at least get postponed. Keaton Fox, KRIS 6 News. Corpus Christi firefighters were on the scene of an apartment complex office fire overnight. Crews were called out to the Aerosmith Apartments on the 5700 block of Williams around 140 this morning and they found a fire in the apartment complex's front office. No one was in the office. Firefighters had the fire under control in about 20 minutes time. The residents in the apartment building closest to the fire were briefly evacuated, but everyone was allowed to return to their apartments. Fire investigators were looking into the cause of the fire, but crews on the scene said it appeared the fire started in the attic. One man was arrested after a police chase last night. It began when an officer tried to pull over the car for a traffic violation and lasted for about two miles before ending on Evelyn Street off of Sunnybrook. Police say the driver did not hit any dangerous speeds, but they say he did dump some cocaine out of the window before eventually pulling over and giving himself up. Along with the cocaine dumped on McArdle, police also found several pill bottles that may contain more illegal drugs. For now, the driver is facing charges of evading and possession of a controlled substance. Several people who live at a local mobile home park have become burglary victims. In the past two weeks, nine burglaries have been reported at the Misty Winds mobile home park off of Ayers. Everything from cash to TVs and food have all been taken. Management at the park says they've sent out flyers to warn residents about the crimes, and they've also planned a neighborhood watch meeting with the police department in the hopes of stopping the crime. And we have an update on the illegal activity at Han Suter Park as some local organizations are doing their part to clean up the area. Back in March, 6 News told you about some illegal late night activities going on at the park, leaving behind every type of waste imaginable. The city and several other organizations came together with a multitude of park enhancements 
including several cameras which record 24 hours a day and feed that video back to the police station. We're told about $73,000 was spent in order to make the park safe.